Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nez Techbits, and today we're checking out this beauty of a laptop, this workstation, this <clears throat> mon Dieu, I can't get over it. Lenovo Legion 7 Core i7, 10th generation, GeForce RTX. She's just beautiful. Let's face it, it doesn't matter how powerful it is. It's got these RGB lights, and kids these days just love the lights and the flickering and stuff. So, I gotta say, first off, I usually don't talk about this, but the mouse is so responsive, it actually feels like I have complete control. This makes it feel like some of the cheaper units I'm using, I'm using the mouse through mud or something. I've never had this experience before. I don't know what to say. I kinda, I'm kind of feeling like I'm getting into a Rolls Royce or really expensive car for the first time and noticing things that I never appreciate on all my uh, other older junker beaters and man laptops will never be the same to me from now on because of this anyways let's take a look at what we actually got on the outside one really cool thing about the legion is it kind of has this part way opening point we have lights that come out of uh, the cooling areas this thing is so awesome that uh, that uh, this thing actually exhales light we have a usb cat5 cat5 you know i mean ethernet uh, usb really powerful hdmi out over here we have a single usb that's where the fan blows all the good chunks and whatnot over here we have two usb c's another fan port on the other side and then a headset over here let's take a quick look at the back usb usb power lock area hdmi and there's that beautiful piece anyways it looks really easy to get into just some phillips head screws oh look at that you can actually see the fans the giant fans on the bottom so let's get this thing going oh we have a light here on the legion on the oh the legion we got a nice little light so let me get this thing open again and uh, let's have a look okay so now to get an idea about some of the stuff i don't care about but other people seem to think is really important let's take a look at the light bleed this is what it looks like we definitely got a bit of an acid wash not really so much of a mate more mate than acid uh, than than uh, most systems that i know you're definitely going to get a glare you're not going to want to use this in direct sunlight um let's face it these things are basically for uh, cool basements they're not exactly made for social time outside with your mopa fofa flappe rappe whatever but it is relatively light i mean compared to uh, other giant units this is not the heaviest this is probably the lightest unit and the most powerful uh, unit that uh, i've ever gotten to play with that's what she said anyways next up the bezels it is what it is i don't know why anyone cares about bezels let's check out keyboard flex um the unit once again feels like it's aluminum not the mouse pad so much mouse pad is giant large and in charge there's no little red dot no secondary beep beep but we got the uh, buttons right here and that should be good enough for it the keyboard flexes once again i don't know who actually cares about keyboard flex it flexes and it feels like it's aluminum so that's good stuff i'm not going to say anything bad about it Okay, so here you can see we got 12 cores, 16 gigabytes of RAM, standard Intel UHD graphics, and uh, the advanced video card, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070. <clears throat> beautiful uh with max q design now of course uh this is the kind of thing where if you're just puttering along you'll probably be using the standard intel uhd graphics and then when you get into the ultra powerful stuff you'll start using your nvidia uh geoforce rtx unit but i have had it before in the past where i've done reviews on these things where i've actually pushed video games at it and benchmarks at it and it did not start using the advanced video graphics and that made me decide to spend the wrong money in the wrong place at the wrong time so just a heads up about that sometimes you need to be uh, making sure that you're using the right video card oh my goodness here we go with the direct x9 going at wow that's 211 frames per second i don't think i've ever seen it that high before that's just freaking amazing look at those planes go this is definitely the most powerful system that i have had uh, on my uh, laundry machine. I mean on my workbench. This is amazing. Oh, next up we got DirectX 10. Uh, 200 frames per second. My goodness, I've never seen this thing go so fast. Man. Christ on a bike. That's amazing. Never seen it like this before. Jeez, look at that go. Normally I cut away by now, but man, I'm just so blown away. Good job, good job. 
Here we have DirectX 11. I'm getting about 350 frames per second. And it is playing just divinely. I wonder. Nope. There we go. Look at those space jellyfish. I can usually see those space jellyfish, but it definitely looks a lot better here. It doesn't come over on the camamera, but uh, it looks very nice. Direct up X12, of course, coming up next. It just looks so good. Everything just flows so good. There's no stutters. Everything is so smooth. Let me see if I can get you a closer look. It just looks so damn nice. This camera doesn't actually do it justice, but I don't want to hurt the uh, benchmark by uh, putting a recorder on it. That was uh, over 100 frames per second. Once again, the best I've ever managed to get. So yeah, that's freaking great. Let's see the score we get in the end. Okay, so... Okay, so this is a really freaking good score. This is a really freaking good score. I don't have anything that tests this well, but I will tell you that I tested this already and I got uh, 3,300. So uh, that's an interesting difference. That's an interesting difference. Here, let me run it one more time. All right, so here we go. Take two, bang on the money, about the sa same that we had before. So good stuff. Millennials be like, who cares how fast it is? Look at the RGB. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Geez, that is kind of warm. Not as warm as other ones, but... Huh. Okay, really though, it's not super warm. Just a little bit. Okay, this is how warm it is. It is exactly this warm. Check out the power supply over the left. Man, that thing really takes all the heat. That seems to be where a lot of the heat uh, from these units come from. Wow, I wonder if I can get a reading on that. So it's 18, 34, 35. I really don't think I put it through a whole lot. But next up, I will put it through a whole lot. What? Fortnite? Yeah, let's see. Okay, so Fortnite decided to put me on everything on Epic. I changed the frame rate limit to unlimited. Um... Try and direct X 12 out, motion blur off, frame per second on. All right, ladies, you know what time it is. Okay, so in game we're rocking out uh, about 100 frames per second here. Looking really nice. The detail on this monitor is just divine. Seriously, it makes everything look nicer. Okay, so it plays nicely, it looks real nice, but uh, it's not the kind of thing that I would absolutely have to have over my Xbox One. Oh man, 144 frames per second on Grand Theft Auto V. Alright guys, get in there, make me some chicken taters. Man, I can't believe it, the graphics are just so good on this, and uh, it just it's just like... On some of these games, it's like playing a game for the first time all over again. I can't get over how smooth this is. This is definitely an excellent system. Of course, true gamers only want to know one thing. Will it play Doom? Yep, it'll play Doom. Man, I can't get over the infighting in this game. That was one thing that always drew me to this game. Just the fact you can get these things to fight each other. Just the best, man. Just the best. This is 136 frames per second, by the way. As you can see, it's definitely uh, gotten a wee bit hotter. Look at that power supply glow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so gaming definitely put some more heat on this system. But I'm not feeling it as bad as I did with the P-Series. The, the P12 and 13, I think it was. Yeah, that's something else. Okay, so to finish this video off, here's a look at the inside. We got the two fans. I don't like how close the fan blades are together, but then again, I'm not an engineer. I just know that dust is going to get caught up there really easily. We got a Western Digital uh, SSD, and that is a NVMe. We got another NVMe slot over here. We got our two RAM slots under here. That's, uh, we got a little bit of a heat shield going on over top of that. I believe that there are two sticks of RAM in there. I don't have a Pokerator good enough to get that out without, uh, 
looking like I hadn't been there. So I'm not going to go in there today. But ultimately, yeah, it's a freaking awesome system. I like it. I love it the whole way around. So even after I ran all those games, you see this block that I have here? This block was still cool to the touch. This thing did not overheat, and there's a lot to be said about that. So when it comes to Lenovo systems, the Legion systems are really good for gaming while the p series the p series is for cad and whatnot and they're both very powerful but the p series i generally find to get unbelievably hot but not this not the legion unit which is really cool once again really light i really like it i think the case could be a little bit more rugged but it still feels uh it feels thinner yet more rugged than previous cases in the past last up we're just going to have a look at the power supply and uh yeah, that'll be about it from us. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm Ned from Neztech. But like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, folks, take care of each other, eh? Hi, Dirk. Guess what? I've started swearing. How about you, Daniel? Are you swearing too? Not yet, but Jerry's going to teach me.